Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mariah and welcome to Yoga with Mariah. So today we're going to work on Urdhva Dhanurasana or how everybody else knows it as wheel pose or upward bow pose. It is a big back bend, um, so we will be warming up the body before we get into this back bend. Um, we're going to do a modified version of wheel pose um, with two blocks and a strap, so make sure that you have two blocks and a strap. Um, with back bends, they're great for um, the confident building, great for opening up the, the, the chest, your heart chakra. Uh, it's also great for strengthening the, the legs, the arms, the shoulders, and the back. Um, so there's a lot of great benefits to back bands, but there's also misalignments and risks as well that you have to be careful with with Urdhva Dhanurasana or any back bend. Um, with Urdhva Dhanurasana, the risks um, could be the lower back, um, arching too much in the lower back, which can cause pain. There can also be um, shoulders, uh, injuries or wrist injuries, um, especially the knees and the feet splaying out, which is um, a misalignment. Um, so we want to make sure that we have this posture um, perfect when it comes to alignment to reduce risk um, and misalignments. Uh, anyways, before I keep rambling on, <laughs> um, so yes, we are going to need two blocks and a strap, and we are going to get started. All right, so um, we're going to start in child's pose. So we just want to work on working the arms and the legs uh, before we get into wheel pose. So we'll go into child's pose right now. So bring your big toes together, knees as wide as your torso. Send your hips towards the heels and then extend the chest forward, resting the forehead on the mat. Arms extended forward. Then we'll take an inhale here through the nose and exhale up through the mouth. Now we'll extend the arms forward. So walk your hands about an inch forward. Root the palms down into the mat. Lift the forearms up. Firm the outer arms in. So the biceps are rolling up towards the ceiling. The triceps are firming in. Now gaze between the hands. Make sure that the hands are shoulder distance apart and the index finger is facing the wall. Come to tabletop position. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back to your first downward facing dog. Now from here in your downward facing dog, again, you are wrapping the arms in, so you're hugging the tricep in. Elbows nice and straight. Forearms lifting off the mat. Putting more weight in the index finger and thumb, so you're rooting through the circumference of your hand, and a little bit more weight in the index finger and thumb. You're pressing both thigh bones back to release the heels down towards the mat. And the inner thighs are rolling back. Now shift it to plank pose, shoulders in line with the wrists. Draw the belly in, reach the chest forward. Tailbone releases towards the heels. Thigh bones reach up towards the ceiling. Then exhale, release. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now place both knees on the mat. And we'll grab our strap. So we'll grab our strap, and I just want to turn this way so we can work on our chaturanga. So we'll, you'll grab the strap, you'll loop it through so you have the loop, and the loop should be at least shoulder distance apart, okay? So you'll grab the strap and you'll place the strap right above your elbow. Make sure that the metal rings are not about to hit your elbows. You want to avoid any discomfort. Now, from here, we'll just check to see if it's shoulder distance apart. Now you're coming to plank pose, shoulders in line with the wrists. Draw the belly in. Thigh bones reach up towards the ceiling. Now 
Now you lift your hips up and back into downward facing dog. And don't worry about the strap being on your forehead. <laughs> so you'll lift the hips up and back. Inner thighs roll back towards the wall. Biceps roll towards the front of the room. Triceps hugging in. And the lower ribs lift up just a little bit. Now shift into plank pose, shoulders in line with the wrists. Draw the belly in. Now from here, you'll inhale. Exhale, bend the elbows, shift your weight forward onto your tiptoes. And you'll notice that the strap helps you in your chaturanga. Lift up to plank pose. Exhale, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, shift into plank pose, shoulders in line with the wrists. Exhale, bend your elbows, shift your weight forward, shoulders in line with your elbows. Chest reaches forward. And then lift up to plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come down to your knees. Remove the strap off to the side. And feel that imprint of the strap hugging the arms in so your elbows are not splaying out. Now from here, we'll come into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Keep rooting through the hands. Now come up on your tiptoes, bend your knees, step to the front of the mat. Make sure that your feet are hip distance apart or big toes together, heels slightly apart. And then release the crown of the head towards the mat for Uttanasana, forward fold. Now you're pressing both thigh bones back, shifting weight into the balls of the feet. Inhale, halfway for Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, bend your knees. Have your fingertips on the mat. We're setting up for Utkatasana chair pose. So you're going to shift weight into the heels. Your hips shift back. And then lift the chest, lift the arms for chair pose. Now you're kind of releasing the tailbone down. Lifting the front hip folds up. Chest reaches forward, shoulder blades press into the sternum, firming the outer arms in. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway, R Uttanasana. Exhale, sit back for Utkatasana, chair pose. Weight is in the heels. Belly draws in and up. Broaden through the collarbones. Fingertips reach up. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, come up on your tiptoes. Then take your knees out to the side and find your way onto your sit bones. We're going to come into bridge pose. So you'll come onto your back. And then you'll grab a block and place the blocks on the skinny way in between your thighs. Make sure that your feet are hips distance apart, parallel. And then walk your heels towards your sit bones. All right, so you're squeezing that block, rolling the inner thighs towards your calves. So you're rolling them um, forward, hugging the outer hips in. From here, You'll inhale, press into your heels, lift your hips up. Now you're squeezing that block in so that the knees don't splay out. Now rock side to side, rolling into the tops of the shoulders, and then clasp your hands behind the back. Lifting the chest up towards the chin. Tailbone rolls towards your knees. Lower ribs reach towards the frontal hip bones. As you press the shoulder blades into the chest. One more breath here. And exhale, unclasp the hands, roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Now we'll remove the block off to the side 
And we'll do it one more time, but we want to just make sure that the knees are not splaying out like as if we were squeezing the block in between our thighs. All right, inhale, press into the heels, lift your hips up to the sky. And then wiggle onto the tops of the shoulders and clasp your hands behind your back. So you're squeezing the shoulder blades in and up. Inner thighs are rolling down. Knees are not splaying out. Feet are not splaying out. They're parallel. One more breath here. As you release the tailbone down towards the knees. And exhale and cross the hands. Roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Bring the knees in towards the chest for Apanasana. And roll off to the right side. Now, we're going to do um, bow pose, upward bow pose, with our blocks against the wall just to give ourselves a little bit more lift in the chest. If you have wrist injuries, then I suggest using the blocks as well because it's less, less pressure on the wrists. So you place the blocks right on the baseboard and they're going to be at an angle. Just make sure that they are very sturdy and that they are shoulder distance apart so you're able to place your head in between the blocks. Then you're going to grab the strap Make sure that it's shoulder distance apart. And we're going to come down onto our back. So from here, we'll lay our head between the blocks. There we go. We'll have our feet flat on the mat, knees bent. Feet are parallel, hips distance apart. Place the strap around your um, arms so they're going to be above the, the, the elbows. Make sure that you have a little bit of slack here so you're not going to injure yourself. All right, so from here, I'm having a little trouble here with the strap. <laughs> All right, so from here, you're going to place the hand on the blocks. So the fingers are going to be facing the shoulders. And then the elbows, again, right here, this is where we're hugging the elbows in like we did in Chaturanga with the strap. So you're hugging the outer arms in. Feet are even, there's even weight into the feet. And then you're going to press into your heels, lift your hips up first. Before you do anything else, just remember to roll the inner thighs down. Okay? Now, press into the hands and come up to the crown of your head. We'll stay here for just a moment. You can work on this, or you can come up uh, and straighten the elbows. But from here, you're rolling the, the bicep back, and then you're hugging the outer arms in. Now, you're pressing the shoulder blades into the chest, rolling the inner thighs down, press into the heels, and lift up as you straighten the elbows. So this is your bow pose. Your forehead might hit the belt, that's okay. And from here, you're rolling the tailbone down towards the knees. You're lifting the hips up, chest reaches towards the wall, inner thighs roll down, knees are hugging in. And then when you want to come down, you'll bend the elbows, tuck the chin, and roll down slowly with control. All right. So that was how you do it with your props, your strap, and your blocks. Just like you bring your knees into your chest, rock side to side, massaging the lower back. Now we'll do it one more time, and you can decide to choose to use the strap or work towards not using the strap. It's completely up to you. But I'm going to keep the blocks here against the wall um, because, you know, it's nice on my wrist. And all right, so place your feet flat on the mat, feet hips distance apart. Your head's between the blocks. All right, place the hands on the blocks. Elbows hug in like chaturanga arms. 
Biceps are rolling towards the wall, tricep firm in. Now you'll press into your heels, lift your hips up. Before you move any further, make sure that your inner thighs are rolling down, knees are hugging in. Then press into your hands, come up to your crown of your head. And from here, straighten your elbows and press the chest towards the wall. Lift through the hips, but we're releasing the tailbone towards the knees. So you're not overarching in the lumbar spine. We're lifting through the thoracic spine. We're lengthening the thoracic spine. And then when you're ready, exhale, bend the elbows. Keep the mat hugging in. Tuck the chin and roll down. Slowly with control. Bring the knees towards the chest. Just gently rock side to side. Take your arms like a T, palms face up. Reach your arms vigorously away from each other. Exhale, release the knees towards the left elbow for a gentle twist. Just neutralizing the spine after a back bend. Right. And bring the knees back to center on an inhale, and exhale, release the knees towards the right elbow. Rolling the left shoulder down, and your inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, release the left hip away from the left shoulder. All right, try to keep both knees together. Inhale, come back to center. Bring your hands underneath your knees, so right behind your hamstrings, and rock yourself up to a comfortable seated position. All right, so that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, everyone. So that was Wheel Pose. Um, so if you liked the video, please like below. If you like to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. And we will see you next week. Bye, everyone. Namaste.